Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new fragrance from Initio Parfums and it's Oud for Greatness. If you'd like to know what I think about this fragrance, then keep watching. And for transparency purposes, they did send me this bottle to review. I always like to let you guys know where I got a bottle and this was given to me for free to review. Now this fragrance is the newest from Initio Parfums. Initio is a fragrance house I have had the pleasure to work with in the past. I really enjoy all their offerings. I love the idea that you can layer and really create a unique special fragrance just for you. All of their fragrances are really designed to be interchangeable and just layer and work together to create something special and unique and personal. And Oud for Greatness is a new fragrance from the line that definitely I can say fits in with that feeling of it being very personal and being very spiritual. And at the same time, it's a beautiful standalone scent, but you could also layer it with other fragrances from the line. Now this fragrance is an Oud fragrance. You guys know I love Oud fragrances, and this one is particularly special to me. The top notes in this, you have a lavender, saffron, and nutmeg. You have this really beautiful Oud at the heart of it, and then at the base, you're going to have musks and patchouli. Now before I get into the review review of it, I really have to just completely congratulate them on having such a beautiful bottle. I know presentation really doesn't matter for some people. For me, it does. I like presentation, and this this is such a beautiful bottle. This symbolizes the tree in life, the unity and the connectivity to it for everybody. And this fragrance was also designed to just kind of celebrate the oud. I thought was really just a, beautiful. a beautiful fragrance. So first off, this scent opens up very aromatic. The oud is very pronounced, but I find that the lavender and the nutmeg are really a little bit stronger in the opening than the oud. And normally with oud scents, the oud comes off really super strong, but I love the fact that it has that beautiful aromatic lavender and the spice from the nutmeg really works beautifully with the oud. The saffron gives it a nice little kick too. The oud in this is more on the wearable side, which I find to be really attractive. There's a variety of different ways that oud can go from being very strong, very powerful, uh, very commanding and the oud in this I find to be really accessible, really beautiful, smoky and wearable. This is definitely a scent you can wear just about anywhere and at the same time you still get that beautiful power of the oud with the overpowering strength that oud can have. And I do love a very strong powerful oud scent. There is absolutely nothing wrong with that but it can be a little intimidating for people who do not know oud who don't appreciate oud or who are just getting into this really fantastic note and smell and so i find this scent to really just single out the oud with those beautiful notes of patchouli and saffron and lavender and it just creates this powerful oud that's also really easy to understand and really easy to smell it's a very wearable everyday oud while at the same time it's not in any way um, compromising the integrity of that fantastic note. I think one of my favorite parts too about this is the musk at the base. All of these notes that are in this, the lavender, the saffron, the nutmeg, the musk and the patchouli are there to elevate the oud and I think the musk gives it a little bit of sharpness and a little bit of clarity in a positive way. It's not an overpowering sharpness that is unappealing, it's actually a beautiful kind of brightness and a spiced with the nutmeg really works together to give this oud some clarity. It's a very kind of crystal clear oud scent while at the same time there is that kind of smoky mystery wooziness that it has in the background which I find to be really beautiful and enjoyable. Enjoyable. This is described as a unisex fragrance, so anybody can wear this, but I do find this leans a little bit more on the masculine side. There's nothing wrong with that. Anyone can wear whatever they want. I'm just kind of letting you guys know where this smells in regards to if you were to buy fragrances from the female fragrance counter or the men's fragrance counter. This smells like it leans a little bit more masculine, but anybody can rock this. It has fantastic longevity too. You guys get about six to eight hours on my skin. I live in the tropics, so you guys know that is a nice nice, decent amount of time for it to wear on my skin. And when it comes down to projection and longevity, it, and when it comes down to projection, this projects really nicely as well. I find it to have moderate sillage, so it does linger in the air a little bit and it does project a little bit past your fingertips. Now, even though this is an oud scent and normally I wouldn't recommend oud scents for professional settings, because this is a little bit 
I don't want to say tamer oud, but it's a little bit more comprehensible oud. Again, it's not that super overpoweringly, overpowering strong oud scent. It does have that power in there, but it's a little bit more um, identifiable and wearable. You could wear this at the workplace. I do think this would be a very sexy scent to wear in professional settings. And I also find this to be very versatile. You can wear this during the day, you can wear it in the evening, you can pretty much wear it wherever, and you can layer this again with a lot of other scents. It works beautifully in that regard. In any case, Oud for Greatness is a fantastic fragrance from Initio Parfums. It's a beautiful presentation, a beautiful bottle, and I'm so glad to have it in my collection. And again, a humongous thank you for them for sending me this bottle. It was given to me for free. I always like to let you guys know that. In any case, guys, that's my review of Oud for Greatness from Initio Parfums. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you guys have any experience with this fragrance or this house, good or bad, positive or negative, there's a comment section below. I always like people coming to my videos and using this as a resource. So definitely, I would prefer if you guys had good or bad things to say, there is a comment section. Definitely let your feelings and your experiences be known. In any case, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye!